So we're going to go ahead and watch the new Multiverses dev update. And this game, we enjoyed it quite a bit. We made quite a few videos on this channel, actually. I'm quite a big fan of fighting games, platform fighters particularly. I think they're the most fun. They're the most uh, universal of all kinds of fighting games. So I'm very excited to see this game come back out. Because the short history of this game is that it came out as a beta. It was more a proof of concept than anything. And then it absolutely exploded in popularity and the dev team just could not keep up with the update schedule. It's been more than a year since this game was actually out and they've made significant changes to it. So let's go ahead and see what they're talking about in this first dev update. All the voice actors. You know, before we start, let me just say that I'm excited this is coming out because this will be the actual last game that Kevin Conroy did Batman's voice in instead of that Suicide Squad game. So we're kind of on a redemption arc here with Batman's voice actor. I'm excited to share that our free-to-play platform fighter, Multiverses, is launching on May 28th. I am freaky. Nice, that's actually not that long from now. The team has heard your feedback. We've learned a lot from our open beta. From day one, we set out to make a game that not only packs a punch. Is that, I think that's slowed down. Game you can, you can hear that the pitch on the gameplay is lower. Here at PFG, it's always been our aspiration to make a platform fighter that you'll love as much as we do. So let's get into it. A core aspect of multiverses is our wealth of iconic characters in the game. This is definitely the truth. I think the real reason that multiverses even blew up in popularity is that compared to Nintendo, right? WB is one of the only companies that can really like compete in terms of roster. Like we saw the Nick All-Stars game, but I honestly think it was a little, little limited because it's just Nickelodeon characters. Like Warner Bros. encompasses so many different things from actual live action movies to Cartoon Network to Adult Swim to some animes even. So I'm happy to say we'll be adding some really exciting brand new personalities to the roster, along with more stages from worlds we have yet to explore. Nice. New Another stages, new characters, crushed. of course. You gotta relaunch with new characters which will improve the game's visuals and character lighting. Unreal Engine 5, I couldn't I couldn't tell there. We moved to Unreal Engine 5, which will Here improve it is. the game's visuals and character lighting. Yeah, definitely so a glow ones, up. Definitely a glow up. Have never looked better. Yeah, and I think the reason they're slowing it down like this is so they can the show the animations. The, the animations are code. definitely consistent, more polished. Online There's play. more to them. So every hit, dodge, and battery will be delivered with pinpoint accuracy. There'll be new attacks and combat mechanics for each character, putting more skill expression in your hands. We honestly can't wait to see what you come up with. So he said new attacks for characters and new common mechanics. A big part of the game as it was, was that there was a perk system. There were three perks that you had to pick from and then one primary perk Per character and I think that's the part that will most likely get the largest rework you could get huge advantages before you entered the game and it was all in the perk system it led to more strategy but it was odd to have a fighting game where you had a build for your character I liked it I think it gave the game a unique flavor but if they condensed the perk system a little bit that'd be very beneficial but they did say there would be new universal mechanics as well so i'm very interested to see what that is i think another point of contention was how the dodging worked in multiverses you could run so far and so fast in that game and i think they just need to turn that down from like 10 to 8 because i think that was ultimately the bigger filter for casual players they loved playing as the characters they loved the fighting style but whenever you're fighting a good player in multiverses, they could just run and dodge and juke so hard. Harder than any other platform fighter, honestly. The balance of power is restored. One of the things we're most excited to announce is a brand new PvE mode that'll offer a new way to play outside of competitive PvP. New PvE this new mode. mode will introduce additional ways of playing with unique rewards. That's good. I'm ready for more. Honestly, it's a tall ask for a free-to-play game, like a free-to-play fighter, to have a story mode. But you kind of need that in fighting games to hold more casual players. Lastly, you need stuff announce, besides we'll just be rank grind. Two thirty-six explosive space modulator that'll destroy the Earth hi, once hi. and for all. Marvin, stop hacking the teleprompter. Your gadgets mean nothing, Earth man. Cute, cute. Three, Mar this is a small glimpse. That is one of the best parts of this game, though. Really kind of brought together, like, the cartoon games, animation games, VA community. Cannot wait to play That's why it's held popularity so well. Until then, 
The end. Guys, I wasn't done. Sorry, Doc. That's not that far from now. That's actually only four days after the end of this Fortnite season. There are a couple points I wanted to go over. Pretty much, I think we hit on a couple of them. But I think the major factor with this game, the big question mark, right, is can this game capture the casual audience twice? It exploded in popularity in a way no one expected back when it came out. Kind of similar to Pal World, honestly. But you don't really get two shots at the big time. It's very rare for a game to pull itself back and then re-release. One of the only games I can really think doing that is Final Fantasy XIV. And actually, that's a pretty damn successful game. So I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Multiverses can stick it out. It has a very dedicated community of people that hold it up. And I think it has many things that appeal to the casual community as well. So the League of Legends fighter coming out is that a pretty big factor here as well. I think we are in a fighting game renaissance right now. We had Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Tekken, all had new entries. Guilty Gear Strive is more popular than any anime fighter has ever fucking been. And we're gonna have the Switch 2 very soon which I, I theorize they will put out a Super Smash Bros. Complete because Sakurai has pretty much said he doesn't want to make a new Super Smash Bros. So the only answer Nintendo has is to collect everything together and resell it as like an $80 package. And you know they will. Fucking Nintendo will sell you guys cardboard. The Nick fighting game, sadly, I think the thing that really killed it was that you had to pay for it. Multiverses, I think, really has a major chance just because it's free to play. You get in for no cost, and if you really enjoy the game, then you start buying cosmetics and stuff like that. Now, when it came to multiverses, the cosmetics were a little bit expensive. We gotta remember this is a WB product. So if we're looking at the recent history of WB games, it's shit like Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad. They're the worst kinds of games as a service game, where they want you to pay for them, then they want you to pay for DLC, they don't want you to pay for season pass. They want you to pay for skins. Absolute Skinner box games. But Multiverses has this like kind of, if you can't tell from the trailer, from the devlog, the people who are making it really, really care about the game. And I think that's the true saving grace. They're gonna definitely need to keep a consistent update schedule though, because that was the major failure of the first release. They just didn't expect to become so popular. The casual audience, they, their attention span is so short. That's the long and short of it. When you're competing against games like Fortnite, where there's quite literally something new in Fortnite every week, whether it's an actual update to Battle Royale, or now they got the Lego and the rocket racing and the festival modes. I mean, you gotta be coming in full force. You gotta have a really consistent and tight content plan. My, I think the last thing we should touch on is who my character picks, my top three character picks for the re-release are, because that's what it's all about, right? When it comes to fighting games like this, you know, like multiverse games, it's about who gets in the game. Number one, I think Barbie will be in the Multiverses re-release. Re that movie made a billion fucking dollars. Someone made a video right now where they watched all the Barbie movie. That shit's got like 7 million views. Barbie is in the zeitgeist right now. It would be very unfortunate for them to not put Barbie in the game because that is an immediate way to get mainstream attention on this game. Make her a Princess Peach clone, dude. I would main Barbie. If Barbie's in this game, on God right now, I will become a top ranked player with Barbie in multiverses. Courage the Cowardly Dog, my second. I've been pulling for Courage since the beginning of this game. They have access to the entire Cartoon Network library, so any character from any Cartoon Network show, except the odd exceptions like Ed and Nettie, because the guy actually controls them. Danny Alatucci, I believe is how you pronounce his name. He controls those characters. But Courage the Cowardly Dog, I would love to see in the game. And then you would have another dog right next to Jake too, which I think it's good when you have characters that mirror but contrast each other in platform fighters. Uh, and then of course Tony Soprano. I mean, come on man, how are you gonna have a fighting game without Tony freaking Soprano? It's the 25th anniversary, let's get the gabagool in the game. Hey, forward ham, salami, gabagool. I mean, I know that James Gandolfini is dead, but what better way to honor his legacy? than with a fighting character in multiverses. And that's pretty much it for this assessment of the multiverses devlog. What are your hopes for the re-release of this game? Did you play this game the first time it came out? And I really do recommend you check it out when it does come out, because this is one of my favorite games in recent memory, and I'm definitely be doing more content on it on this channel.